My name is Mark Carlson, and I'm a consulting engineer at MSC Software. Today I'm going to talk about how we can accurately simulate human muscle and its behavior. We will be using a human tongue as an example to illustrate the modeling techniques. The tongue is the most complex muscle system in the human body. It consists of 16 individual and distinct contractive sets of fibers. These fibers run in widely varying directions, weaving through each other like threads of clothing. One of the many reasons for accurately simulating tongue behavior is to understand and optimize the design of a surgical implant to help remedy the causes of obstructive sleep apnea. This condition occurs during sleep when the pressure of breathing and the effects of gravity cause the tongue to collapse and block flow through the upper airway, in turn waking the patient and preventing them from achieving sufficient amounts of critical REM sleep. Its symptoms include memory problems, weight gain, headaches, job impairment, and motor vehicle crashes. It affects at least 12 million Americans. Simulations such as these can provide insight even beyond that of airway closure. Shedding light on the effects of implantation and surgical scarring on critical tongue functions such as speech and swallowing. Today, we will exemplify the features of muscle modeling by looking specifically at one of the major muscles in the tongue. This muscle is named genie glossus. Modeling begins with the geometric representation of the tongue. This geometry is based on scans of the organ's outer surface. Internal muscular regions are manually manipulated using existing literature on the subject, as well as anatomical image slices as the basis for their representation. Next, a mathematical model of the tongue structure is produced by discretizing the CAD geometry into finite elements using Patran's automatic hexahedral mesh generator. The next task is to model muscular activity. Muscular activation on a microscopic level is intricately complex. However, we are able to model macroscopic muscular activity based on the distinctive structural characteristic of the bundled fibers. That is, that muscles contract based on levels of internal stress. Muscles contract when a fraction of their maximum stress is applied. This fraction is referred to as the activation level, and it can be differently distributed on individual muscle fibers within the same muscle. It is therefore critical to organically represent activation levels in these fibers in order to achieve accurate muscle behavior. Such representation would provide control over where and when a muscle will contract. Using a variety of innovative techniques, we are able to define vectors that coincide with fiber direction and thus dictate the path along which the individual elements would contract based on signals from their associated muscles. With the direction of muscle fibers defined, activation levels can then be applied spatially and temporally to the finite elements. User is also able to define activation time profiles via time history curves, and most importantly, has the ability to preview their distribution graphically prior to solving. When activating 13 different muscles, each with their own time-dependent profiles, this becomes an indispensable tool for keeping track of the loading conditions. Last but not least is the necessity to model the material as accurately as possible. With MSC Mark, users can define customized material models with as much detail as deemed necessary. Existing material model definitions can be leveraged and extended, as was done in this case, where activation-dependent stiffness contributions were added to muscle elements in the direction of their fibers. These additional stiffnesses are present at small levels in the passive state and change in value along with changing levels of activation according to physiologically established curves. It is interesting to note that typical finite element simulations involve loading scenarios where solver-calculated stresses resist externally applied loadings. Muscles, however, exhibit just the opposite behavior. Internal stresses applied by the solver cause the finite element mesh to structurally deform to a state of equilibrium. Through multiple physical verification techniques, we have found this method to well represent muscular behavior on a macroscopic scale, producing strikingly lifelike visual representations along with scientifically useful results. With MSC tools like Mark, Patran, and others, users can simulate and hence gain a fundamental understanding of 
some of the most complex muscular activities in the human body. Doing so provides an environment in which soft tissue interactions can be understood, implants can be optimized, and medical complications can be avoided. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to learn more about how MSC can help you model and simulate human muscle, or provide insight into any other biomedical application, please visit us at www.mscsoftware.com.